So I'm Dirk Vanderhart. Uh, I'm the news editor of the Portland Mercury. Uh, when the Roseburg shootings happened, I was covering it as one of the reporters on the scene for the New York Times. October 1st was the first day of legalized marijuana sales in, uh, in the state. So we had a number of reporters going dispensary to dispensary, sort of chronicling what was happening in the Portland area around that. It was a big deal, as you can imagine. I just actually left a dispensary, had not heard of the shooting when my phone rang with a, with a New York area code. Um, a message on there said, uh, this is someone at the New York Times, give us a call. Um, only then did I get a text from my fiance saying, did you hear about this Roseburg thing? I had not, you know, I was interviewing people about pot. Um, so I hadn't uh, brought myself up to speed and was able to, um, you know, call the Times back and say, yeah, I can head down there for you after I cleared it with my boss, uh, obviously. Um, so yeah, pretty quickly after I got the initial message, I was uh, in a car speeding toward Roseburg like every other journalist in the state, or at least in the Portland area. I, I had the clothes I was wearing that day um, and my laptop and a phone, and luckily a phone charger, and that was it. And if I would have had my druthers, I would have uh, rushed home to get a change of clothes because as it turned out, I was there for three days. Uh, and some toiletries. Um, but there are Walmarts in uh, a lot of small towns around the country that can take care of these things. So uh, the bare bones, I mean, you have a, a smartphone and a laptop. In a lot of cases, you're pretty good these days as a print journalist. As you can imagine, there was some urgency, so I was speeding. And so were the uh, federal agents that were streaming down Interstate 5 toward Roseburg. So uh, from time to time, it wasn't, um, Odd. It, it was odd at first, but it became second nature to see an SUV unmarked speeding up behind you with lights on and thinking for a second that you're getting pulled over. But in fact, it's, it's just these Homeland Security agents uh, pouring down to Roseburg. I was listening to, to any radio or news snippet I could on the way down, and OPB was down there. Uh, I don't know if they had anyone down there yet, but we're reporting it by phone, and you know they had a special broadcast and, and all that going. So that helped us. Uh, figure out what was going on and get the lay of the land. I had the basic facts as they were known at that point um, when I hit the ground.